We're here at TED 2010, which is a significant event in terms of introducing our company, our product, and our technology to the commercial marketplace. TED is recognized around the world as a forum which draws some of the leading entrepreneurs and visionary thinkers specific to application of technology. So you'll see people here who are very interested in understanding what the next generations of technology can do in a variety of areas, including uh, impact to the global environment. These folks have the right connections to be able to showcase a new technology like a clear edge power fuel cell uh, that would enable uh, people to accelerate the adoption of this technology, which ultimately is what will lead to uh, generating a critical mass of people wanting to adopt newer technologies for generating power. And uh, these folks can uh, be an accelerating agent for us. The TED conference this year has given us the opportunity to put together one of our full-size units so that we can explain to people exactly what goes on inside of a fuel cell. We're showing people also the uh, difference in a fuel cell compared to other alternative forms of energy, as well as the cost advantages. We're demonstrating to people the environmental impacts and advantages, and we're demonstrating to, to people the application of technology in a very real and tangible way. One of the most exciting events that we participated in this week was a luncheon that was sponsored by Clear Edge Power that was attended by more than 100 visionaries and thought leaders who were very interested in economic climate change and in the governmental and regulatory environment that surrounds our new products. Uh, this particular luncheon was hosted by Jim Kohlberg, our senior private equity leader, as well as Van Jones, talking about uh, the various steps that can be taken by the government, both uh, domestically as well as on the international market space uh, in adopting new technologies and how we can address the need for more energy, cleaner and more efficiently. Uh, this session is called the Green Economy 2.0 and Beyond. And uh, I think that it's important to kind of understand where that 2.0 is coming from. The initial, a lot of initial thinking about the green economy really focused on uh, consumer choice. Uh, what, what were consumers going to be able to, uh, to prioritize and, and pick in the market, making greener decisions as individuals. We began to move uh, over the past 10 years or so more into an environment where we're thinking about what are the right government policies to help uh, to shift entire markets over in, in a greener and cleaner direction. New and small businesses create 85% of the jobs. And that's what's going to have, have to happen. It, it, you know, the government, well, we need government help First of all, they, they're not a very efficient creator of jobs. They can create a, an umbrella, they can create a, a environment where those jobs are easily created, but in the end it's about innovation, new people starting businesses and hiring new workers. You know, one of the things that I personally find interesting about the TED event is the people that, you, that, that come together here for this event are folks that are not necessarily bound or restricted by the world around them as it exists today. These are people that have the ability to step forward five years, ten years into the future uh, thoughtfully and think about um, how we should make the world that we live in. It's not necessarily about what it is as much as it is about what it could be or should be. And these are the kinds of folks that will help set the directions that will enable companies like Clear Edge Power to be able to achieve those goals.